Good evening, everybody. This is Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Daisy Party. In the last episode, we went to Vegas and had a very questionable time. I don't really know what happened. But in this episode, we're going to Booze Haunted Bash, the greatest board in Mario Party 4. Because it has booze, so of course it's the best. <laughs> Let's party. No, I won't talk in that voice for the entire board, don't sink and worry. But yes, Booze Haunted Bash is my favorite sinking board because, as anyone knows, if you just take one look at my channel, if you know who Mackie and Teresa are, I stinkin' love booze. Peach is finally here, and very fitting because she's sinking terrifying to play against. Welcome to Booze Haunted Bash, it's so good, it's scary. I'll be your ghost, er, uh, host, if you will. Yo, <laughs> it's a ghost joke! This board is scary. It's a scary little spook house that I cooked up a while back. I wanted to scare everyone who set foot in here. So let's see how you do. Now let's see who gets to go first. Yee! I'm going first. I'm going uh, second. Okay. I like that as long as it's not last. And Peach is finally. Did Peach. Was Peach with us in uh, Mario's. Not to Mario. Toad's Midway Madness? I don't remember, but I do know that like we've gotten every character now, which is cool. I think this is actually the first- no, this might not be the first time we got Wario, but I don't know, I just know we got everyone now, so we're good. Now, happy haunting! The first star is going to be right over here. All the way on the other side. We're going to the other side, the star is right here for now. E -he 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 -he. Reach me without 20 coins and you will be D! Nine! Okay, let's stop doing that! And let's play Mario Party 4! Oh my god, I'm so sick and happy we're here. Booze Haunted Bash. I don't know why, I'm just like... I feel like I summed it up uh, the best I can with uh, the Teresa reveal video. I've come to the conclusion that I love Booze so much because like they're sort of like me. Even though I hate myself, so I don't know why I like things that remind me of myself. But Boo is like... Uh, 100% introvert and 100% extrovert. He's never like something in between because like if you stare at a boo and they're super scared they don't want to move but if you turn around them they're just so crazy and stuff. I don't know, I just, I love Luigi's Mansion. I was like one of my first games I ever had, even though I was thinking terrified of it back in the day. Uh, go back and watch that. Oh hey, lucky minigame right in the first turn. Yee, it's up to me to decide the coin prices for this minigame. I'll just spin the wheel. That doesn't actually let me decide because it's completely random. And I decide that I actually don't care because you broke the illusion. That's too bad. I'm afraid the number of coins won't be changed this time. So it's not a lucky minigame, just a regular minigame. But I still like to have the little uh, card up there because it looks nice and stuff. We paid a lot of money for that. I wasn't even talking about it. I don't even remember. But yeah, I just talked about how I like booze and stuff because... Because Boo was just uh, very prominent in my GameCube career when I started with Luigi's Mansion, even though I was sick and terrified of it and everything like that. I don't know, it was just a good stinking time back in the old days of Boo and stuff, he just always stuck with me. I don't know, I'm just being weird like that. We're just gonna collect some coins for now, and I guess it is Lucky Minigame because we get to collect some coins. Not uh, set to just uh, 10 or nothing. Uh, I, got some, I like how I got knocked into some coins. Get that one, thank you! I don't think it's possible to get multiple- I have Mario's already out, wow. Uh, let's see, get this one, I don't think it's possible to get multiple bags in that little rotation. Maybe it is, I'm just not skilled enough. But yeah, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, not just the boom, maybe this is actually a good board. Now, oh, come on. Uh, I got 15. Uh, it is a really fun board, though, I just have a lot of fun with it. Maybe because of just boo, or maybe because of other things. We'll just have to wait and see. We're all first now, but then it gets switched around. First, second, third, fourth. I got Luigi's happy's in third, and then Mario's Sadie's in fourth. Wait, no, that, that makes sense, I thought it was the other way around, my bad. Okay, I don't know what numbers are, placements are. If any of this got uploaded during Halloween time, I actually don't have a Halloween LP planned for this year. This is the first time that's happening. It's because I have Walking Dead going on right now, which is sort of like all year round, so that sort of counts as a Halloween LP. And then this might get uploaded alongside, I have no idea. Um, the reason for that is because, like, I originally I was planning on Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us 2 to be happening this year, but Wolf Among Us 2 got moved to, uh, next year, so I thought it'd be kind of weird if there were two, uh, ghostly LPs or Halloween LPs happening 
in the same year as well as a Halloween LP on top of it. So I was just going to have these two games exist and then it would not count towards and then a Halloween LP just wouldn't happen. But now Wolf Among Us 2 isn't happening. So do I need a Halloween LP? Uh, I've already set the LPs for this year, so it's not going to be happening. Whatever. Too much words, not enough explanations. Let's just keep on going. Uh, Blue's over there, so just gonna keep on going this way. Don't think I'm gonna buy anything, but we might as well check. This is the item shop! Don't waste my time! What do you want? Yeah, the Blue's are very angry, it seems. I uh, don't really want anything, sorry for wasting your time, but I don't want anything. Then why'd you come in, huh? That's a waste of my time! No browsing! And he just waves goodbye, he's like so happy, he's like, No browsing! Have a nice day! See, they're nice guys! I don't know, I just love Boo so so much. The pink Boo! Ooh, scary! So they got the little candle they're carrying around, even though they don't like light, so I don't know why they have it. Uh, Mario gets an item space. Everyone's got low coin counts this time around, except for Luigi. I don't know why. I was like, everyone's got low coin counts, except for the guy that got a really high coin count. Uh, Peach gets a 7, and she's going upwards. Instead, those bridges will get deactivated if you pass that pink boo in the top left that we just saw right there. Uh, so you have to keep on passing through there to determine whether or not the bridges will be open and available to you. Be very fitting to have candlelight right of course it's on there and of course we're gonna okay cool we didn't get it i do not want to actually have that minigame because it's annoying as heck especially for the one player but we're on gold and i'm the goalie this time hooray right. he's just thinking terrifying in mario strikers charge like anyone who hasn't played that game just go ahead and play and just see how terrifying every character is in that game because they're just so stinking weird i don't know why they do it like that but whatever it's different i guess but uh, let's see get out of the way okay we got at least two of them. Knocked out. Go. Ugh. Just gonna lunge back and forth. Wee hoo! Wee hoo! God darn it. Wee hoo! It'd be kind of weird if, like, Daisy and Wa I was thinking about, would Daisy and Waluigi work as Echo Fighters of each other? Because, like, they both show up in, like, the sports side game, so it would make sense for them to have, like, sports gears, their items. But now Peaches, or Daisy's an Echo Clone. I'm so happy Daisy's in it, because, like, uh, I've wanted Daisy in it for a long time, just, like, with Waluigi. I'm sad he's not in it, but, oh well, them's the breaks. I'm gonna go, like, Go on an angry rampage about it, like a lot of other people seem to be doing, because it's not appropriate. But yeah, just sad and stuff that Waluigi isn't it. But then again, like, I don't know. It could still possibly happen, because like, when you think about it, something things that we thought made certain things guaranteed to not happen end up happening. Because like in Smash 4, Lucas was a regular trophy that you could get in Smash 4 before he was ever announced as DLC. And now, and then he became a playable character in Smash 4, so. Waluigi being an assist trophy, if you think about it, it could lead to something different. Who knows? I have no idea. I've always thought that, like, they could replace his assist trophy with Plum from the Mario uh, Tennis and Golf GBA games or something like that. Uh, because she's a character that uses a tennis racket, so, like, you could just replace her with Waluigi. Or replace Waluigi with her and then have Waluigi be a playable character. So, I don't know. Just part of me in the back of my mind thinks that there's a 0.1% chance that it could still happen, even though it hasn't happened. I have no idea. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, I don't know. But one thing's for sure, like, you shouldn't harass Sakurai about it because that's not a good thing to do, and I like, got three of us are flat broke now, so I really need to win this. Oh, a new minigame! Uh, I forget what you need. Oh yeah, you just need to press buttons super quickly. Uh, be the first player to reel in- oh wait, no, it's not this one. Okay, I was thinking of a different one that also takes place on this pier. Might be the exact same, uh, graphics as well, might same exact same area. Uh, be the first player to reel in the cheap cheap. Whoever reels in first wins. So this is actually kind of difficult. You just press A to reel it in. When you feel the rumble or see the wing wing, press the button as quickly as you can. You only see the exclamation points if you have the rumble feature turned off. But since I have it turned on, uh, I don't have to look for that. I just have to wait for the vibration. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I'm actually kind of worried I might actually lose this one. And I didn't lose it, hooray! Okay, she's always singing worried about that one. And we got corns, hooray! Oh yeah, that was a 30 coin game, a lot of money. Yeah, you got the pity coin, 61! And Peach got 26, how lame. But Luigi and Wario are flat broke, so that's very good. And I am on my merry way. Oh, Wario was one space away from the stars. So sad. And Peach is going the complete wrong way, so I'm okay with her having money because it's not going to help her at all. And she's going mega, so she won't be uh, deactivating the bridges. So whether or not that's a good thing is up to you. I guess it's, it's always good to just have the option, I suppose. I don't think the pink boot just makes things not... Oh, wait, no, the pink boot does stop certain things from happening. Hello, what the fruit? Oh, God, I did not see that coming. Great. 
Wow, Peach cleaned up. That's unfortunate. Oh, hey, another battle mini game so I could win the coins back. Okay, then. Uh, we got... 10 coin game this time. Not as epic as last time, but oh well. Uh, still got a chance to get money. And yay, I was hoping it would be this one because new minigame. Uh, that might be the last battle minigame? I'm not sure. Uh, Chain Chomp Fever. Watch out for the Chain Chomp and the Lava Cracks. Oh, and don't fall off the on the side either. Just move around don't get hit, basically. Last wound, stand and wins. It'd be cool if Chain Chomp was a playable character in Mario Party. I still need to play old, uh, no, Mario Tennis. I still also need to play Ultra Smash. I got, I think it's still in the uh, factory sealed wrap. No, I know it because I did an unboxing video of it, so I had to take it out of the wrapping. But I've never played Ultra Smash, even though I got it for like Wii U, I just never played it. It's like, oh, Mario, I guess I have to get it. But no, I haven't played it yet because as far as I heard, like it was just really bad. Like I just thought it was stupid that the gimmick was, you can make characters mega. Hooray, they turn big and they hit the ball harder. Hooray, it was just, it was stupid. And I heard like little to no talk about it. It was just like, whatever. But Mario Tennis Ace, there was like so much talk about it. And then like, as soon as it got released, like it just stopped talking about it. But there still seems to be like DLC coming out for it, which is cool, new characters and stuff. But, uh, the story mode is what I'm interested in. Like, is it actually good? It's interesting. That's what I want to know about. Something I did hear about is that you could only play as Mario in story mode, which is disappointing. So that alone makes me, that's what's been keeping me from playing it. Which is kind of lame. Uh, fish and drips. Oh, speaking of kind of lame. But yeah, I'm, uh, the game looks cool and I lo always love Mario Tennis. It's just that I don't know if it's going to top Power Tennis for me because Power Tennis is the bay. Um, I'm just saying that because it's the first one I played. I'm always like against people being like, oh, this is the best one because it's the first one I played or it's a childhood thing. But then again, I'm the same way. It's just that like I try and come up with explanations as to why I like it. Despite just saying like, yeah, this is the first one I played, but I still think it's the best one because something, something, something. I'll never say because childhood when I'm explaining why I like a thing. Uh, R, come on. Uh, why? I might just be more defensive and supportive of a certain thing because it's a childhood thing, but like, I'll never just outright say, Oh, it's good because childhood, herp and derp, nostalgia. Oh, uh, boy. I don't know why, but like, I've said before, like, I just hate the word nostalgia in general. Like, I just, it bothers me so much. Like, it feels like I'm saying a bad word. I don't know why. It's like a dirty wordy. And I got, Daisy's got like a big old hunch whenever she picks up, picks up the bucket. Like, come on, Daisy. Like, you're looking like me whenever I record something. Just like, I have such a terrible posture. I'm pretty sure like anyone who plays games or just anyone who uses a computer, so everyone, um, uh, for an extensive amount of time just like could agree with this. Just that posture gets ruined when you are on a computer. I'm just like, I just sometimes just catch myself and be like completely hunched over, like staring as close to the screen as possible. I'm like, what are you doing? Just fix yourself. My God. 69! Speaking of fix yourself. <laughs> oh my God. I'm still singing stupid and dumb and annoying.